everyone, I'm Ella from Spline. This time we are going to explore how to apply this iridescent effect to your 3D designs. You can achieve stunning results just like this in a short amount of time using the rainbow layer combined with matte caps and other texture combinations. All right, let's dive in. The first thing we wanna do is set our base color for our object. And you could do this by simply just changing the color here. But in this case, I am just going to be using the normal layer. You can also just use a plain color or try out the depth layer, which is a 3D gradient. Both of these can achieve awesome results. Now that we have our normal layer set, let's add a rainbow layer. The rainbow layer helps to create this iridescent effect. It's helpful to create surfaces that gradually change color depending on the angle that we're viewing them from. You can adjust the frequency, movement, color on the RGB channels, and the scale of noise. Let's keep it as default and change the blending mode to screen. Now let's add our matte cap. You can think of a matte cap as a texture that encapsulates how a material might look under various lighting conditions. So when you apply a matte cap to a 3D model, the material's appearance adapts to the shape and then it will simulate how that material would look in real life. So you can use the matte caps that are available here in Spline or upload your own by clicking the upload button here. And you can find a large variety of matte caps on the web. These ones here are from Cosmo Labs and there's a ton of them for you to explore. They have a lot of great resources for Spline on their website. So I encourage you to go ahead and check out their website and see what inspires you. We'll leave the link down in the description below. So going back to our design here, I'm going to click on the matte cap layer. And I will select this one and in the blending mode, I'm going to select multiply. By adjusting the blending mode to multiply, I can preserve the effect of the matte cap, but allow the colors that I have under the layer to be seen. The order of the layer will affect the final result of your design, so keep that in mind. Try moving things around in the material panel to see what results you might get. Now let's add a few more details to our texture. What about a bit of noise? And as I said earlier in the video, you can change your base color to a different type of material layer. So again, try using just a plain solid color or using the depth layers to create a beautiful gradient effect. There are a ton of combinations to make, so go ahead and explore and see what results you get. Now, let's imagine that we want to apply some of these materials to other designs. One way you can do this is simply by copying and pasting the material. And you can also create material assets. So to do this, let's select our object and click on the four dots in the material panel and hit the plus symbol and done. That is a material asset and you can name it whatever you'd like. In this case, I'm going to name it iridescent black. And if I add more elements around my scene, I can simply go back to my material panel and click it here. I also have this icon that I created, which is inspired by a windmill and it's animated. So I can go back here to the material panel and select our material asset to apply it to this design. Super easy to move your materials from one object to the other. And a quick tip, one thing you can do in Spline is you can adjust the rotation of textures and matte caps. You can do this and animate them by adjusting the rotation in each state, like in this example. And as always, you can export this code free to your website or your iOS projects using Spline's exports. All right, that's it for this video. We took a look at how to achieve this iridescent material effect. 
Try it out on your next 3D icon or just in any 3D scene you might be working on. Check out the community for more inspiration. And make sure to let us know in the comments what other types of material effects you want to learn in spline, glass, metal, you name it. See you in the next one. Bye.